Hello everybody, so today I am 9 weeks pregnant and I thought I'll make a quick update for you guys. <sighs> I think I'm starting to get a little out of breath. Time really is flying. It feels like yesterday we just found out we were expecting and now I, you know, only a few more weeks until we hit the second trimester. Um, in terms of pregnancy, I think it's been really, really great. I feel very blessed in a way that um, I haven't been puking up or anything. Um, maybe out of seven days, two of the days I'd, I'd be nauseated. So it's kind of like a hangover where you kind of feel dizzy. First of all, let's start with my mood. Um, I really feel like I've had no mood swings. Or at least I like to hope. However, I have been feeling a little lazy, especially at the beginning of um, the seventh and eighth week. It was just like, oh, I can't even be bothered to do anything. Normally, I just love to wake up early and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get this done. But you know, I've been waking up and I'd be like, oh, I just want to stay in bed all day long. I've also been noticing that I've been getting pretty crazy dreams. Uh, last night I dreamt I was eating Doritos so when I woke up I was like I must have Doritos and I was just like going through the covers and then I found it I ate half a packet all at once which is a lot you know because it's massive I've been dreaming a lot about foods um, foods that I dreamt about include cream cheese and crackers which I had to get uh, cupcakes uh, Doritos um, aside from that some of the dreams have been pretty crazy I dream at least like three at least three dreams every night for one dream, I dreamt one of my friends, he got his um, arm like mauled up by a crocodile and in a different dream I had that night was me telling him in high school that hey I dreamt your, your arm got mauled off. I hear about people having vivid dreams. My dreams are just weird and like messed up and creepy. I actually weighed myself yesterday or the day before and I was surprised because I've actually haven't I actually haven't gained any weight at all. But I feel like my 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 tummy sticks out more. So I don't know if it's like food baby or if it's because of the bloating and everything. Appetite. Two foods that I really like eating recently include chilled oranges. Not oranges that's been sitting, it has to be in the fridge. And normally I'm not a big fan of oranges because it kind of gives me rashes, but I've just been craving it so much and I've also been loving mangoes. I'm getting my appetite back. Um, at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was just really trying to keep the food down. But now I feel like I'm starting to get more appetite now. I'm like hungry all the time. Although it's still quite bland when I'm eating. I still don't like eating beef. I still don't like the, the smell of garlic. I pretty much just stick with congee and bread. I think my boobs must be growing because they're always itchy, especially in public, but luckily I mastered the subtle way to relieve itch. You cross your arms and you just go like this. It was actually today that we went to see a doctor and I went to see a doctor because two days ago um, I was I had a little bit of spotting so we just wanted to make sure everything was okay and baby's fine. But the moment I saw his or her uh, heartbeat just flicker, I was like <sighs> The sun is going to die, so I better hurry and show you guys this picture. So this is our little baby and from crown to rum, I guess it's 2.24 centimeters. So about an inch peanut. I wonder if you're going to be creative like mommy or if you're gonna be a little smart ass like your daddy. Are you gonna have a little pee pee or are you gonna have a little wee wee? Or if you're going to have your daddy's enormous giant head. I have more pimples along my jaws, I guess. Very small ones, but nothing um, too major. I notice I'm starting to get a little bit of acne at the back of my arms. That's one thing that I never really used to have. My inner thighs hurt a little, especially on, in my right side. And I think it's called round ligament pain, where uh, my joints are sort of loosening up in preparation. Uh, so sometimes when I'm walking, I'm like, oh! I quite enjoy keeping this secret with a very small number of people who know and it's hard to believe that we're going to be sharing at this out to our family and friends in just a few weeks. I've been thinking about what happens when the baby will get here because I have a feeling that the dogs are going to be so good with the baby and we thought about where we're going to have the baby room. It looks like it's my makeup room that's going to go away because I really don't use it so quite looking forward to decorating the room. You can't tell at all that I'm pregnant that I'm wearing this but this is my belly. Oh, one thing I noticed was um, I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting a bit hairier. Tim thinks my belly looks chunkier already and I think I do too. Although I just ate like a two course meal so it could be a food belly. I'm quite looking forward to when, you know, my tummy really pops. 
products that I'm using for my tummy um, is of course the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. Um, I have to say, I mean, it's, it's quite easy to use, but I, I don't really like the idea of me smelling like chocolate. I don't mind eating it, but I don't really like, you know, smelling of it. And then this one is the Woleda Stretch Mark Massage Oil. And I quite like using this one. I like that even though I can massage into my body and absorb quickly, it doesn't feel greasy and sticky. So my mom actually had crazy stretch marks, but then again, she did have four kids. Um, but yeah, you never know. I, I'd rather not lose out, so I want to give it a go. And uh, hopefully, I won't get too many stretch marks. I am going to go get ready. We're going to be having dinner with Tim's relatives tonight for Chinese New Year. Oh, that's another thing because it's Chinese New Year. Um, our baby is going to be Year of the Horse. And I'm a tiger baby because I'm born in Year of the Tiger. And I was just thinking about it, you know, if it was like a tiger baby or a dragon baby, it'll be so cute. But it's going to be a horse baby. Horse baby. It doesn't sound as cute. It sounds like a horse baby. Horse baby. Have a great day guys and I shall talk to you soon.